Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Bears Blue Line. Conley is here with Chocolate Hockey, here with the boys, Colby Williams. Hello everyone. Connor Hobbs. Howdy. Absolutely beautiful outside right now. Spring is in full force. Uh, you guys went golfing here? Yeah, the other day. Well, I guess I went two days in a row. Yeah, you did. But uh, the golf game is not very sharp, to say the least. Um, Always room for improvement. Always. Yeah. I, mean, I got a couple excuses in my back pocket, but um, I'll just save those. But uh, I know it's finally nice. It's kind of just like one day all of a sudden it's spring. But coming from winter, you know what I mean? And, I mean, this spring kind of feels like summer to, to me and you. Yeah. You know? Well, yeah. Back home. Well, it's actually kind of nice back home. It is getting nice, but we're used to a lot colder. A lot colder winters. Yeah. Yeah. But then right away, <laughs> like the other day was, what, 75? Sunny which, and 75. Which was, which is, who knows what that is in Celsius. We don't know. We know what's nice, though. Yeah. That's all that matters. And you guys were playing against, uh... Your guest here. That's right. Oh, uh, yeah. Ch- well, Chili, as you called him. On uh, <laughs> Instagram, you guys had your team name. We, we were Chili, and they were um, Paxi, right? Yeah. Well, I'll introduce our guest here is Brian Pino. Um, he's a longtime listener, short-time friend. Um, we played against him in golf the other day, and um, how would you say your golf game went? Uh, I mean... That was the one at uh, Deer Valley. Yeah. I mean... Uh, First outing of the season, so obviously wasn't the best golf going around for any of us. But who was your partner? Uh, speak Maxi for yourself. Maxi Cameron. And how would you say his performance? Was? <laughs> Maxi was using the oldest clubs I've seen in a while. Yeah. But he was he made some some good plays. How, I mean, how about his golf etiquette? His golf etiquette <laughs> is pretty poor. <laughs> I saw him at one point drive across the green. Yeah. Oh no. Yes, yeah. he did. Yeah. How about oh, how about how he no. lines up like? way right and then just hooks it yeah. onto the fairway yeah you're like max you the, the ferry it's it's going left here he's like yeah, yeah i know he'll just aim for the bushes and just snap slice yeah he's got a big an, slice he's got an interesting hey slice. but he he was he plays not bad it. though he not plays bad. the slice he plays it he knows his swing yeah he does and then yeah. uh so you guys well you guys kind of won by technicality but um yeah yeah, it was That's also an asterisk. There's an asterisk there's an besides asterisk. that win. That's yeah. asterisk. What? Why? Well, we didn't even get to finish. Because apparently my out. my finishing putt didn't count because, like, I was messing around and putting like as a joke, and then when I lined up my real putt and drained it, it was like, oh, you took a couple already. What was that? You know, wah wah. So he he took his putt, putted it, checked out the line. No, oh, no, that was a oh. joke. No, that was a joke. I had one hand on my club. <laughs> it was a huge joke. Yeah. Ah, whatever. We're just out there. Having we didn't fun. even get but to finish. Also, we didn't even get to finish, so, so. it's still up in the air. But that's true. Yeah, we still we got a couple holes. We were just fun. having fun. Yeah. I was actually kind of pissed off. And then uh, me and you played the next day at the country club. Yeah. That, Lost again. Yeah, that was a that great brutal. Course. That course is unreal, though. That was with Louis and Sproli and. Louis played lights out back nine. Yeah, Louis, he's a safe player, I'd say. Just putts it close, two putts, mm-hmm. you know. And then Sproli had a couple big shots. He can smack the ball. Yeah, he can smack. You guys were saying his swing is um, is like butter. It's real nice. He's, good, he's got a nice swing. It's hard. It's really hard. His back swing might be faster than his. Really? He either smacks speed. it or he tops it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, but for fair, he wasn't using his clubs. Yeah. Also, I wasn't using my clubs. Oh. And uh, he was using rentals, and it was his first round of the year. So yeah, um, I could see him, you know, turn it up a bit. I think we're going to have a team outing uh, yeah. at the country club. So Once cool. the regular season ends, we'll go golfing, and hopefully we don't uh, we don't start golfing for a while here. Bears are in the playoffs. Bears are in the playoffs. Let's go. That's yeah. Big. That's big. Yeah, I mean it's pretty cool from where we were at Christmas time. Yes, yeah, New Year's we were dead last. Thirty first. Thirty first, and then until J- January twelfth, you were thirtieth in the league. And then yes. kind of went on. We went on an absolute tear. Seventeen points. Seventeen games with a point. It's not yeah. bad. Yeah, it's a good run. Hard. And then we had a 
Then we'd lose a game, and then we'd go on another, like, eight-game run or seven-game run. Not bad. So, yeah, we've been playing good the second half. But yeah. Went to Canada. You want to talk about your time in oh, Canada, Pins? Oh, yeah. When's the last time you've been to Canada? Last time I was in Canada, I was, like, 12 years old. I was only there for a weekend for hockey tournament in Ottawa. So I didn't really get to experience Canada. Yeah, you're 12. You don't yeah, know. I don't. Yeah, I don't even remember it. Basically, I just remember the hotel, like knee hockey and stuff. Yeah, yeah. you know how it is. Scraped, just shredded. Just shredded. You're more focused on knee hockey than you are yeah. the tournament. You're tearing up the hallway. You play, yeah. you play a game at 9 a.m. Come home, water slide, knee hockey. Play yeah. another game at three. Play the finals raging, at seven. Day dragging people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you're Leaner just, in ho- rooms and yeah, you're just buzzing. Yeah. Now I can barely play two games in a row. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, three games in one day back then. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've been hanging out with these guys pretty much all year, and they've been uh, hyping up a two two big restaurants in Canada. I guess Cactus Club and Earls. We went to both, and it didn't disappoint for sure. What What was your favorite part about Cactus Club? Oh, the atmosphere was lights out. I mean, the, the music. atmosphere. Yeah, so I love you the music in there. All Drake and <laughs> and all. there's nothing better than a Drake song in Toronto. In yeah, Toronto, that's true. Little T. Scott, ooh, <laughs> in the oh, six, in the six. And then we just so happened to come out on the ice in uh, Toronto, in that rink. What was the song we came out to? Sickle mode. Sickle mode. Drake Maybe. and T. Scott. Some ZZ in there. Yeah, me and Hobbsy song. Yeah. But, so it was, um, it was a good trip, so right? Overall, yeah. What would you rate? Canada. Out? Canada's pretty cool. Nice. I gotta say. And that's just the east. Like, that's not even yeah. the west where we come from. Yeah. No, no. And I gotta say, for a city like Toronto, like how busy it is, it was clean. Clean city. Yeah. I, I've always kind of thought it was like a really clean New York City. Yeah. For sure. That's right. Last time I was there, I was like, yeah. this, this has New York vibes yeah. to it, but it doesn't have the nine foot long rats running exactly. up the street with yeah. pizza everywhere. Yeah. And it's not as hectic. It's like, not as busy. Yeah, everyone's just like going at their own pace, whereas New York is just like oh my buzz, god. Buzz, 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 buzz. Oh yeah. oh yeah. Like if Wait, you're looking people. if you're not paying attention, people are running into you. People are just bumping trampled. it. They don't care. Oh yeah. They don't care. Walking on their phones. Oh that's horns don't always get me going. started. Don't get me started. Yeah, the horns. Oh, Oh. You're bad for that. Too, you are. Though. Yeah, you're a honker. Hey, the other day, a, a bus was turning right. Maybe took like a little bit longer than he should have. But he's l- <laughs> pinners laying I, on the horn. Dude, I've been in the car when he's honking his horn. It's outrageous. And I like just put my hat down. Like so oh embarrassing. God, so uh, I use my horn quite a bit. Why That's is that? Such an American. Is thing. that an American thing? I don't know. Yeah, when I'm at home, I use it all the time. See, at if our someone's home, taking too I, long to I, turn, I, like. Let's I want to say that's a, that's, that's a more northeast thing because I don't think p- people here in Central PA are as big horn yeah. users. Yeah, I haven't but, heard it once, other than when other I use than it. You. Like if you use your horn at home, it's like something like you're getting out. You're getting <laughs> you're, out and you're getting ready to scrap. Yeah. Yeah. No, I where I, I'm from, it's that's just the way of life. Horn, horn, I everywhere. Mean, it makes sense. That's why you have it. But like, yeah. you know. I think here Highway people, use it. I think people use it for more just like nudges, like "Hey, light's green." Like, yeah, let's get yeah. A move on. Beep, beep. I think, but I know people that just lay on that sucker like it's I know. going to boxing. Match. I hear you, Willie. Hat, like hat it. down, like just like don't look at me. Like that's my buddy. Don't. It's not me. Yeah. You I'll know? probably use it tonight <laughs> at some point. <laughs> Yeah, probably we'll see. wouldn't surprise me. Maybe in the grocery store park. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe at the giant. Couple, we seen a couple hey. stunners in there. That's oh, for sure. yeah. We seen a guy freaking honking his horn. Ooh, Remember yeah. that? Yeah, we were in the giant parking lot. We were walking to get our hairs, hairs cuts. Hair cut. yeah. Hairs cuts. And these two guys were just going, like honking, yeah. honking, window down. Yelling, swearing. Yelling, swearing. I thought they were going to chase it. The one guy chased the other guy yeah, out of the parking around the lot. the corner, spins his tires, like drifts around on the other guy's like back end. Like, I thought they were going to get out and go toe to toe. I know. And, and we're standing there, and there's this old lady, this nice old lady, like, oh, what was that? Like, and we're just like, oh, are you okay? Like, like we're just going to get our hairs snipped. Hmm. Like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> it was creepy. Uh, it was it was it was intense. Never it, seen that. The blood boiling a bit. Yeah, poor guys. Gets us fired up. So I think we should take this time to uh, introduce um, our masters team. Mm-hmm. We uh, do a masters draft every year, like the ma- the golf tournament. For those of you who don't know. Yeah. yeah. And uh, starts tomorrow. It starts tomorrow. You want to take us away, pins? Name our. Oh well, you know what? Introduce the team first. 
Okay. Like, our, like us, like who, who the, the members, the members of the team. Okay, so we got myself, yeah, Brian Pino, Brian Pino, Colby Williams, yeah, Tyler Lewington, yeah, and Connor Hobbs. Solid team, like management is, you know, I mean, top notch. The owners of the team are, you can't and, do much better than that. And we came out of the gates firing. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got Spieth first overall for sixty five bucks. Okay, we should yeah, explain how it works. How it works. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, so Mike King, our video slash jack of all trades, can do it all guy, um, was the auctioneer, and every team gets a turn and they put up a name. They say a name, like. Well, what was our first name that we said? You guys remember? It doesn't Rory. matter. Was it was it Rory? Mm, I don't know. You, Whatever. You throw up a name. You sometimes you can you'll, you'll throw up a name that you, a guy you really want. Say you really want uh, Tiger Woods, or sometimes you'll throw in like a guy that you just want guys to bid on and waste their money and, and stuff like that. So there's some strategy to it. But um, so you have two hundred dollars to spend. You, so, and you can spend under five bucks per golfer. So you can spend a hundred and you get five golfers. You can spend $180 on one golfer and then you got four others to spend five bucks on. And when you throw out your name, other teams, it goes in a, in a um, like Kinger will go down the list of the teams, like who who's going next. Like if you, it just throws out bids. Like yeah. we th- say we throw out Spieth for, we'll say Jordan Spieth for five bucks. Well, right away, Another team's gonna go. Oh, we want him for ten, and then it just keeps going and going. So you can get hoes pretty easy. Yeah. Like if you if you were too aggressive and spend all your money, which we did last year, remember that? Mm-hmm. Then we buy Tiger for like. We bought Tiger. For way too much. But yeah, that's he's he's fun to watch though. Yeah, but whatever. We, we didn't win any money. We though. did it smart this year. So go ahead, pins name off our yeah. our guys. For so the listeners. like I said, we came out firing. First overall, I don't know who threw it out. Maybe Mega. Might have, might have been Megs. He threw out Magna. Jordan Spieth, and he's going quick. He's going quick. He's going quick. And we come in what at like fifty? Yeah, we came. We in came 50. in at like fifty. Another team goes fifty, fifty-five. We go sixty, or sorry, we go sixty-five, and no and one no, else raised their I think, hand. You know, I think it was because guys were a little bit um, hesitant to spend money right away because it was like the first one of the first guys, and people yeah. weren't really sure. How much money they wanted to spend yeah. or whatever, and we we stole him. We got him for a steal. We I stole mean, him. A guy who's led the Masters for fifty four consecutive holes is yeah. that good? Sixty five. And us. we got guys chirping us for buying them. You know they're jealous. You know, Come jealous. On, Je- it it's jealousy. Like we, our team is stacked. Yeah, okay, our okay, team, keep going. Our team Next is guy, lights. Justin Thomas. We ended up getting in the second round for seventy bucks. Ste- another steal. Another steal. I think that's a good buy. That's a solid. Pick. That's, that's a, a really good. Pick. Really. Oh, him man. and Spieth too. Like, like come boys on, in. they'll be boys and they'll yeah. be high fiving and stuff. Like, huh. and then it's a what's, what's his first name? Corey. Corey Connors. We got for five dollars. Good Canadian boy. A Canadian boy. The Canadians wanted him, and he, I mean, he's hot, right? Will he? Can't, he had a win. Two hundred and fifty to one odds. Yeah. yeah. Hey. Still. He, uh, hey. Did we just a lot of people pick te- Texas Tech? I don't Not think so. A lot of people. So, hey, that's he true. could be our Texas I, Tech. So he's uh, he just actually won the tournament uh, last weekend. So he's coming off a big, big, big yeah. uh, weekend. Yeah. First time in the Momentum. Masters. Mo- momentum's huge in golf, I've heard. Uh, and uh, you know we're hoping for big things from Connor. But if not, you know we got him for five bucks. But we hope he does good. Good Canadian guy. Yeah, good Canadian boy. Next we got Lefty Phil. Wow. Phil Mickelson. Steal. A steal. Ten, ten bucks. Ten scoots. We got him for. Are you kidding me? He's a gamble. He's, well, but for ten bucks, it's not really gambling. Not really. No, I mean, we got, and and we also need three guys to make the cut to even qualify to win. Well, we got two guaranteed we making got, the cut: yeah. Spieth and Thomas for, for sure. For sure. And then the oh, Xander yeah. Schauffele. Xander Schauffele. Isn't that how you say it? Xander Schauffele. Yeah, I think he's. He's a good pick too. We got him for fifty-five. He was a little pricey, but we actually we wanted Fleetwood and Tony Finau, but. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so let us know. That's our uh, that's our group for the Masters. Uh, let us know if you you know think we should have picked someone else. Yeah, we got Speed, Thomas, Connors, Mickelson, Shelfley. Only person that I I would have thought would have been probably a really safe bet would be Rory. He's yeah, too he much. just went too much though. But I think he, he, that's what I was about to say. He goes too much. So, so see, if like it goes for Rory. You got to spend like I think he went from ninety five or hundred maybe. Yeah. Ninety-five. So then you only spent fifty percent on your, of what you guys on that. Yeah, Ricky was a lot too. Ricky was eighty-five. I think Ricky and Spieth and Tiger, or sorry, Ricky, 
Rory and Tiger were most. Well, let's see yeah. the odds here. Do you got the, the odds, odds right now? Rory's a seven to one. Dustin Johnson's coming in at ten to one. Justin Rose is coming in at twelve to one. Ooh. Tiger fourteen to one, and then your boy Justin Thomas sixteen to one. And we got Phil down there forty to one, along with uh, Sp- uh, Thomas. Spieth. Spieth. Spieth, Spieth was uh, sixteen to one, along with Thomas. What so you got Shifley? two things, and then Shifley's forty to one, along with Phil. Those aren't bad. So that's Those good. Those aren't bad numbers. Like no, last year, last year we had Tiger, and then we had that Cantlay, and, and he sucked. And he we sucked. got we had Webb. Webb Simpson. He was, he was, was trash. Good. We had some other guy. Then we have a young guy who was like one of our best guys, Canadian guy. Uh, what was his name? Yeah, I can't. Remember Whatever. We had a terrible team last year. Yeah, it wasn't very good. But we've learned. You know, a year older. You know, a year more mature. We come into the bid bidding war. With uh, you know a little pep in our step, we were we were buzzing. Oh, we're good. I'm happy with our team, boys. Yeah. Like really happy. Yeah, it's solid. Yeah. Like Spieth and Thomas are. Those are gonna, safe bets. Th- they're Those gonna compete. S- yeah, and they're gonna be up there all four days. Mm-hmm. So it's not like you're going like, oh jeez, I need them to come back. They're gonna be in that top ten there for <sighs> can't wait a long time. Can't wait. We'll we'll play a game. We'll win. We'll cut. We'll watch the last bit of the Masters. We'll watch. Game of Thrones. Ooh, It'll be oh one yeah. heck of a Sunday. Also, yeah, Game of Thrones coming Have on you guys Sunday. T- talked about that on the pod all the time. Oh, all the time. Did we talk about when it's coming up Sunday? Yeah, Sunday. We talked. We talked a little bit that you guys were excited for your schedule there on that Sunday, but now that it's becoming more real because it's only a couple days away. Yeah, you see a couple like clips on Instagram or Twitter, and it's like, oh man, teasers. I can't see wait. Snow's sword in the in the snow. Oh, but like. They do such a good job of like hiding what's gonna happen. They're not like, giving anything away. It's crazy. You you He's, can do all the research you want, which I don't like to do, mm-hmm. but you won't find anything because they don't put anything out there. And it's very secretive. Like yeah, that's what I mean. Like I heard the the cast doesn't even get the script till they get to. You have to keep the, the set script on set. Yeah. And then I think that if you're not in that scene, you don't get. Like, the only thing that you get is, like, your dialogue with somebody. So, if you die in the, in the season, you only know you're dying, and you probably don't know the other people that know that you're dying. Right. Oh, yeah. And then if you're, in, if you're not in that scene, you might be watching and be going, oh, they died during the season? No wonder they weren't yeah. there on the last yeah. day. I saw a funny, uh, a funny video. I think you might have showed me where Jon Snow got yeah. his pulled over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so John, what's his what's his name in real life? Kit Harrington. Kit Harrington. So John Snow Stodge. is uh, driving in wherever he's from, and uh, gets pulled over for speeding. For yeah. speeding, and he knows it like he's way over the speed limit. Whatever he's, and then the cop pulls up and he goes, "Do you know why I pulled you over?" "Yep." He's like, "So you're speeding, blah blah blah." And he's like, uh, "I'll give you one option." To get out of this ticket, you gotta tell me if you live or die in the next season, because that's just that's right when yeah. he when he died. Yeah. And then he goes, I lived. Okay. Now keep your speed down this far north of the wall. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Walks away. <laughs> On your way, Lord Commander. On your way, Lord Commander. Because he said that the only people he wow. told was, like, his wife and his immediate family, like his mom and dad. Yeah. And, and nobody else knew. Not even the other cast members knew that he was coming back to life. Yeah. Like, he's just... They must have been fired up when they saw him come on set like, oh. for the next season. They were like, let's go. Just boys with him. Oh, my God. I saw another funny video of Arya. He was on Jimmy. She was on Jimmy Fallon, and she was she was like just talking, talking, talking. And then all of a sudden, she was like, she was like, yeah. When I figured out Arya died, the first episode of season eight, and then everyone's like, oh, what? And she goes, oh my god, like what, what did I just say? And then she runs off stage, and then Jimmy Fallon's like sitting there stunned. What? Yeah. So then everyone's like didn't know what to do. She runs off stage. She's like kind of crying. Was she joking? Jimmy Fallon runs out, opens the opens the curtain, and goes. Like April Fools! No way! Yeah. No. What? It was like when I first saw it. I what? Was just, I was just watching it. And she goes, "Yeah." When I found out, you know, Arya died in the first couple of episodes of season eight, and she like looks at the crowd, looks at Jimmy, and, he, and Jimmy's like, "What? What did you just say?" He's like, "Yeah." Uh, oh my gosh, I gotta go. I gotta go. And she like kind of like put her head on, runs off stage. What? The, it was silent, silent in the whole theater. And then Jimmy Fallon goes by, like uh, to the curtain and like. 
April Fools, like whatever. Wow. Yeah. What, a skit. Dude, what a skit. What a skit. What a skit. What a skit. Imagine she actually dies, and yeah. everybody's like, "Oh, that was a spoiler." Yeah. Oh my. There's a fake April Fools. That is nuts. Fake but then, April Fools. So I've, they're doing those media tours right now, and I watch a lot of Stephen Colbert, and they've been on. They had Amelia Clark come on, and they did a Game of Thrones puppies up for adoption, and they started like they named all the puppies like things and I guess all the puppies were like adopted out that night because oh, yeah. everybody was so excited. That's when uh, a couple years ago Tyson Strachan <gasps> had a, a puppy event here and they named all the puppies at, off after Game of Thrones dogs and one of them I'm going to cut this out. One of them pissed right here on the back. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But yeah no they brought puppies in here and took photos that's we just gotta get more puppies. And that around. was Amelia? Yeah, that was like, Amelia doing that? Mm-hmm. Oh she's such an angel. She's yeah. a treat. That's a girl eh? Yeah. She's the best. I entered a contest to uh, walk the red carpet with her for the for the um, premiere of season eight, and I lost. I didn't win. Mm. Well, what have you done if you won? Dude, I'm flying there. I'm flying there. When is it? I play this game against Hartford here. Get on a plane, fly to wherever this red carpet is. You get on there. Way. I don't care if even if I have to hold her like purse or clutch or whatever, I'd do it. Like walk the red carpet with her. Oh, of course. Hang out with her. Go to the banquet. You know, laugh a little bit, eat some chicken. You know, <laughs> it, it'd be awesome. <laughs> like, That's why I got his haircut yesterday, just in case. That is why. But I lost. So how do you know you lost? They already picked. Yeah, they picked. So like I had that guy falls I out. Know. I had some special code where I got 150 entries for Connor Hobbs, and I and you still missed on all of them. All 150. Ah. Miss, 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 ah. miss, miss. Did you pay for this? No, no, it was free. It was oh. free. <laughs> oh, man. I wouldn't be surprised if you paid for it. <laughs> no, I, I, it was free. But, like, you know, what a shot in the dark. You'd but. have to take her out for a nice dinner, too. I know. I, I had it all planned out, all mapped out, you know. Wow. Yeah. Shoot your shot, eh? You shoot or shoot, man. Oh, good for you. Yeah. Anyways, I guess talk a little bit about Brian. Um, yeah. Sure. First uh, first college guy on the, on the podcast, for, you know. First American? First American, American, first college guy, first forward. Oh my Whoa. lord! No, 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 no. We had Beck last. Oh yeah, last right, right, right. So, but still. <laughs> um, he's he's, ta- he was, he's half American. This is our first full American. Is his, right, you're yep. Donald Dulce. You're still all American. All American. All American. He's, all American. He is. He, he is all American. He is as Bostonian as they come. You can hear it when he says a roof. I don't know about and, that. Uh, start the car. Ah, start I the don't car. What, what else do you say? <laughs> How's your plan? <laughs> uh, Just picking on you to say things. I don't know He's what He's got words. a funny little accent every now and again. We, we call him out for it. I don't know if he does it on purpose or what. I words. love it. I think it's hilarious. Yeah, I, know, it's I don't have a bad one. My parents have a pretty... Not a bad one. But it's not bad. It's more. It's not a bad thing. Yeah, it's not. A, it's not a bad. Recognizable, accent. I should say. Like, like some, some. My mom will say "ka." Stop yeah. the ka. I'm like, mom, how's her car was in the shop? How's your car doing? Ah, my car's in the shop again. <laughs> I need a new car. <laughs> How do you say room? Room. 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 Yeah. My bedroom. Going. Going to my room. My room. Said room. Got my blow up mattress. You know. Oh yeah, that thing's lights out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, so talk us through your uh, hockey career. Um, you know, what was uh, your decision, kind of, to go to college, or did you even think about going major junior, or uh, like how does how does that decision work, and like how early in your hockey career did you decide that? Like, just kind of explain the whole uh, college like, process. Okay, yeah, how does it all yeah. work? It's it's different for you guys, obviously, but. Yeah, like I don't even know what I knew what the major or uh, CHL was when I was like I don't know in high school, but like never that's not really a thing where I'm from. No. Like you go to college, you want to go to BC, Providence, BU, like all those local schools. Yeah, because you watch them; they're right there. But kind of how the the process works is I actually had a QA. QMJHL team mm-hmm. reach out to me when I was like a freshman or something. I, I couldn't even tell you the team, but I didn't really think about it. I didn't, but because it's kind of second fiddle, hey, to college. Like that's college is like that's what you like do. college is like CHL for you guys. Yeah, for me, you know, yeah. like you guys grow up watching it. Like I don't know, wanting to play there, right? And like it's the same thing for me with college. I actually used to watch Steve Whitney when he was at BC. Wow. There we go. Would you say you idolized him? Yeah, he was 
sick. Still is. Still sick. is. Still is sick. But his team was nasty too. They have Johnny. But, um, yep, Johnny Hockey. But uh, yeah, so I guess it it, it kind of starts younger now. Like guys are getting recruited when they're in eighth grade, which is crazy. Because how do you know where you want to go to school when you're in? How do you know what you want to do with your life when you're in eighth? Yeah, how do you know I mean, you even like, want to play hockey? Well, they're probably choosing like, oh, this locker room's sick. I want to go here. You oh, know, like, that, oh, absolutely. Seriously, hosers. I'm just but, worried about what I'm playing at recess. Yeah. In grade eight. I'm worried so about who's on my football. Who's on my football team? Grade. Who am I picking? What? Yeah. What? And then. Oh, I lost recess when I was in fifth grade. Dude, I had recess K to eight, baby. K to eight. Yeah. What? Let's go. Oh, that's. We don't have middle school yet. Yeah, kindergarten to grade eight. That's ridiculous. Playing football. Teachers are gone. It's tackle. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, sorry. Go on. But yeah, so I was looking at a few different schools, and I ended up choosing Providence College, just like the coach and. I actually went there for an official visit, like stayed the night and loved the guys on the team. Still still buddies to this day. And um, yeah, that's kind of how it went. But it was a tough decision, obviously. It's kind of like, it's different for you guys because you get drafted, right? right? So we get to pick where you want to go. It's That's like the... There's some pros and cons of that. Like yeah. it's probably... Like, getting drafted and you know you're going somewhere, you kind of just like, okay, that's where I'm going, you can get used to it. But whereas college, and you get to pick, you're like, okay, this has this has pros and cons, this, so does this. Like, yeah. it's tough to kind yeah, of Yeah, for sure, definitely. So what was the major, like, factor that you went to Providence? So, other, like, other than hockey, like, I like the school, like a pretty campus, um, relatively close to home, um, and good business school, which was – not really that important when I was looking, but mm-hmm. when you get there, it's like, okay, this is important, you know? But, yeah, okay. um... Well, tell, tell the people what, what you graduated yeah, with. Yeah, what's your degree? Finance. I thought it's, uh, finance. Nah, it's finance, but <laughs> these guys always give me a hard time when I say finance. Do you actually say that? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, not man. a joke. Like, that's how it's supposed to be said, I think. Yeah. Like, <laughs> right? Oh, jeez. What? Hold on. Dude, I thought you were joking when you always no. say that. Like, my profession. say it? Finance. No, you don't. Hold on. You don't go to a finan- financial... Financial <laughs> advisor. You go to a financial... I don't advisor. know, man. I had some professors okay. that were pretty legit Here in the business go. world and they called it finance and i and i always called it finance good thing they weren't they were teaching like, english okay so here we're going to get it up on google here's the american pronunciation of this word finance mm. oh now wait there's a there's a british pronunciation as well finance finance so <laughs> so i didn't hear your your pronunciation well maybe it's like the professor pronunciation yeah, I don't know. I guess I have to ask my dad. My dad's in the finance world. See, so you just said it right there, finance. Yeah, like I said, I call one? it finance, but my teachers called it finance. So I was like, who is it finance? Like, they're obviously smarter than me. <laughs> that was a mind game they were playing with you. I don't know. Finance? Look, Look to your left, look to your right. Two of these people, two of you won't make it through finance. Yeah. Is that what they said? I always no. see that in movies. <laughs> no. They, don't they say pretty that? much hold your hand through it. Oh. It's, it's Do you true. think Willie and I could make it through college? For sure. Really? Yeah. Hundred percent. I think they'd be great in college. You guys both have good work ethics. Oh, you didn't see me in high school. <laughs> yeah. No, I. I mean, well, I guess I haven't seen you in a class. I didn't own a binder. Yeah, you'd be fine. Didn't own a laptop. Oh, oh, trust me. Yeah, college, you can walk through college without uh, having a care in the world. Oh, my God. It's ridiculous. I mean, you, you got to have some care. I mean, like, I had I had some care in high school, and I still didn't do well. You just have to do your homework. Which yeah, is, I didn't do that. Like, if you do your homework, my mom that's like that. half the grade. They're like, oh, you did your homework? Good for you. Nice job. No work. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a, lot of, a lot of college stuff is just doing the work. Oh, I could do that. Work. I could do that. The testing is like 30% of your grade, but you just need to get 70. Well, classes were, th- I have, geez, classes right now I'm taking are like 45% of tests. Well, 50%. it varies in the well, class, yeah, but, but still. let's say homework's 20%, tests are 30%, group work could be 30%, and then 20% could be showing up. 
Yeah. Oh, that's the thing too that you get a grade for showing up. So if you go to classes, you'll get you what? Know. Maybe pop your hand up. Yeah. Why are all my buddies not going to classes then back uh, home? They're probably getting zero percent on in that call. I'm I got a buddy who has never been to his one class ever. Some classes don't. Like I had a class last semester that I, did, I never went to. I just did the work online. Yeah. And I got an A in it. But then there are other classes that the teachers say, okay, attendance is mandatory. And oh. it's a participation grade. Yeah, and then that participation, participation grade. goes towards... That's 20% of your grade. Just so handouts. You're, just you're handouts. starting with a 20%. You need only 40 more to be able to get at least a D in the class. And then you'll... If you get a C, then it counts. And that that's all you need. Yeah. Like, my school was small. So, if you didn't go, they knew. And I, we actually had this class. I haven't told you guys this. It's like a... Western civilization. This is a class. Bears Berlin exclusive. Yeah, exclusive. This class sucks. It's what for, is it? Oh my god! I took a Western civilization class. It's horrible. It's basically religion class. Yeah. And it's two full years, four semesters, f- worth four credits, and it's hard. It's like is that lots? Good four. Great. Yeah. So normal average, class is three. Three. Yeah. So this oh, ca- okay. this class counts a little more, and no one wants to be there. Mandatory. And it's mandatory. What are you learning about? I don't know, like Aristotle and yep. crap what? like that. I don't know. Oof, and you like reading the Bible and stuff like that. And it's just like, but anyways, so once a week you would have this, it's called a seminar. And then that's two hours and it'd be like eight people with the professor and like a circular table. What? And you have to go and you have to like raise your hand and like participate in the conversation. And i like but what kids, if you don't like? What'd you be like? Oh, Aristotle, that guy was cool. Boys, I was stunned. What if you this. don't believe in <laughs> like certain things and like? Well, you just gotta. Or are, they, are these facts? It's, it's, these it's, are facts. It's, it's it's. From my understanding, I mean, maybe it's different for you, but like they're teaching you about the history. It's more his, historical stuff than yeah. like. Oh, here's like biblical. Here's a religion. Is it biblical at all? It. Yeah, it's yeah. not like practicing religion. Uh, It'd be like reading that, yeah. Oedipus and yeah. stuff like that. Like what happened there? Like I don't know. Okay. And <laughs> I'd sit in class just stunned. So you did it for four years? F- no, two years, four yeah. semesters. Four semesters. Oh. So kids would be like going at each other about what they think is going on in the book, and I'm just sitting there like oh, stunned. I could care less what happened in the book. And, and did you pass the class? Yeah, I passed the class. Be all for. Did you take any uh, like any? Uh, I hate to call them this, but they're athlete classes. We call them where they're just like jokes of classes that they gave the football players. Huh? I took acting, okay, which was like you acted. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh. I can't see you acting. Neither could I. It was stress, boys. You had to. I took a drama class one time. Yeah, there was like thirteen kids in my class. One other guy on my team, so that was nice. And then, like, a bunch of girls that we were friends with and um, a couple guys that we were friends with, too, that didn't play sports. So it was kind of comfortable. But still, like, you had yeah. to go up and act. And, I like, everyone was so uncomfortable. But by the end of it, it was just, like, pretty fun. Like, what did you do? Did you do a play? Or no. What, like, what? Just, my like, first, skit? My first acting, like, assignment was I had to think of, like, a, a time. I don't know. You tell a story that happened in your life. Oof. I get, and get like you deep. have to have other people involved in the class, but you can't tell them about it. You know, like you, you'd be like, "Hey, Hobbsy, like remember that time we were walking down the street and we saw, we saw that dog get hit by a car?" And yeah, like so, that. like yeah, and, and like then the you other, no, and the other goes by it on, on yeah, it. and the other people have to like improvise. And I look out in the crowd, like into that. the class and go, "Hey, Louie, come up here. You're gonna be the the German Shepherd. Willie, you're gonna be the Toyota." And yeah. like you act it out. Yeah, and you guys would be sick at this, co- actually. Cause really? You guys are good at chopping it, you know? Well, I got a degree in uh, shooting. Uh, I got a degree in chopping it up. Yeah, like, you guys would be good. And, but my teacher was stressed. Like, she was crazy. Really? She was so That's nice so and, like, awesome, but she was, like, really intense. Well, give her a shout-out if she's listening. Miss, Mrs. Kate Ambrosini. Mrs. Ambrosini. Yeah, she was awesome. Awesome but crazy. I took a, I took a drama class in grade uh, nine, I think. So first year of high school. And at the end of the year, you had to do a monologue in front of the whole school. Ah, man. And 
It was one of the scariest moments in my life. <laughs> you're in the you're in the theater, and it's actually it might have just been like the grade. No, I think it was the it was a majority of the school. And you get out there, the spotlight's on, like it's all dark, and it's the whole school, pretty much. What was your monologue? My monologue was from Coach Carter. It was when they were locked in, uh, locked in the gym, and they were doing doing the doing schoolwork. Oh, and, I, yeah, you told me this. And I could still re- recite it to this day. Yeah, man. And uh, Our but deepest it, fear is that we're inadequate. Yeah, that's that's what it is. <laughs> and I can still recite it to the day to this day because well, uh, give give the listeners a couple uh, lines of it. Um, but like, get into it. Like. I'll be Coach well, Carter. So I, I'll give you the setting. So I, I walked out and there was like a desk on the, on the stage, and I like sit down. I'm like in a basketball uniform with like I think he had like kind of like a gangster outfit. So I like had like a hat on and maybe a, a chain and sh- sleeve shorts and, and shoes, and like basketball shoes. And then I get up, kind of push my desk away, and and he goes, "Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure." It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. And he goes on and well, on. Yeah. And uh, yeah, thank you, thank you. A plus. But it was one of the scariest moments in, in my life, and oh, for you sure. Know, but I'm glad I did. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. And you're probably more comfortable talking in front of crowds now. Uh, yeah, maybe. Oh, that's another class I had to take. Public speaking, not a fun class at all. I had to take it twice because I transferred from ship to Penn State Harrisburg and. They, they took the credit, but they took it as a general, so they made me do public speaking twice. I was like, oh, just get me through So this. do you just get up in front of everybody and talk? Like, talk. I had to do... I had to do a, You're uh, talking about... Yeah, but there's like different types of speeches you have to give. So you have to give like a persuasive speech, and then you have to give like a storytelling speech. Oh, so man, like, I'd like that class. I had to give a persuasive speech about... Uh, the O.J. Simpson trial. Oh, I wouldn't that like, like that class. That was that was like at the peak of when uh, that show was out with Cuba Gooding Jr. and everything. Yeah. So everybody was super invested, and I gave this speech, and I was like, "Okay, we we think O.J. did it. Oh. Like, okay, cool, <laughs> convince you. Wow, there you go. that's all nice. you gotta do. Wow. And that's how you get. That's how you got graded too. That uh, I think this was the one that shipped that you had to convince people to, um, like, if you persuade them. If you persuade them, you got an A. If you didn't persuade them, you're no very left out. Yeah, huh. I've heard that in a bunch of different places now. That public speaking, if you don't persuade, like the class grade you, which I kind of do. They like, give out a rubric. That's nerve wracking. I think they just like you know say like, oh, did you persuade? Yes or no? Or like, I always level or something. when I had that, like they give you like a sheet like this, a rubric. Yeah, and it'd be four columns, and five, four, three, two, one. Five is the best, obviously. And every, just, give every, everybody five. Oh yeah, five. Oh, yeah. come on. Of course. Let's yeah. go. It's your classmates. You get up there. Ah, you get yeah. a five. Those you get a five. Those yeah. peers. Even if it's brutal. Five. Yeah. Push them along. I don't want you to get a bad grade. Give them a hand. You're trying. Good what karma. I like the guy. Uh, uh, any there wasn't worse. anyone that... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'd do, but I didn't run into that problem. It's all about karma. I'd probably know? still... Yeah. No, nah, if I didn't like someone, I'd probably give him a three, maybe. Yeah. Maybe a one. A couple. Whoa, one? Oh, Whoa. Just ruin his career. Ruin his career. His life. Flunk him. Yeah. Well, it's all about karma. Remember, we paid that that homeless guy the other day. Then good things happen. Yeah. You know. Where, where, where were we? What what good thing happened then? I don't know. Just we're good still stuff. Still waiting for it. Still good, waiting for it. Yeah, <laughs> good stuff. You know, good vibes. Oh, maybe we just picked the top five guys. There we go. There in go. the Masters. Good yeah. bounces. Good bounces. One, two, three, four, five. Finishes. Yeah. What else do we got to talk about, what's, boys? What's hockey like up there? Because I where? mean, come up in like Providence area, New England, and all that. Because it seems like compared to here, it's huge up there. Yeah, it's big. Everywhere's sure. from Boston too. Bad well, sports there are huge. Like people live, live and die. Red Sox, Bruins. Would you agree with the argument that it's a Red Sox town, even though the Patriots are, you know, dominating here in the last two decades? Oh, don't get them started. Yeah, here we go. It's tough to say, because everyone likes the Red Sox, but the Patriots are the Patriots, and like the Bruins are good, the Celtics are good, like everyone likes everything. I don't. It's hard to say. I don't know, because they're always pretty good. But my favorite team is the Pats. I'm they're sure they. No. They're <laughs> yeah, the Reg Pats, man. I'm sure you've been told, but yeah, they probably don't want to hear me talk about that. <laughs> Yeah. Brian is a Pats guy, a real big Patriots guy, one Huge. of the biggest 
Like, and we've had some big fans of the Patriots, like Chris Bork and and you know Paul Carey and guys like that. But I don't think I've seen a bigger fan. Like, we had the Super Bowl party mm-hmm. at uh, that axe throwing place, and he didn't leave the table once. Eyes glued, and he was cheering, smacking his hands together, like screaming at the screaming TV, screaming at the TV. Oh but yeah, he was kind of scaring me, to be dude. I'm getting it. I've I never seen like a fan a, of a team quite like you are of the Patriots, to be honest. Well, I've been watching Tom since I was young. And that guy's... <laughs> you talk about him like he's like your... Oh, <laughs> so oh it's, man. It's best buddy. But that's how people who are Patriots fans... I love sick. Tom Brady. It makes love me him. sick. He's my favorite person in the world, probably. Guy doesn't know you from a hole in the ground, but you worship him. Yeah, yeah he gave you a high five one time, didn't he? No. No, I'm going to track him down this summer. <laughs> you haven't he, tracked him down? Because you said uh, he does that marathon? Yeah, running so he thing. does like a bike oh, yeah. charity race called Best Buddies, and the finish line is uh, near where I live. Uh, and then he golfs at the the club where my dad's a member at on that day, early in the morning. So I'll be there before the evening. The greenskeepers are there. I'll sit in my car with a coffee, wait for him to come in. Tom, wave him um, down. Tom, Tom, Tom. It's it's Brian. I'm Tom, here. can I please have a picture, maybe a video of you saying "Let's go, let's yeah. go." With many men in the background. Many men. Yeah. Uh, I mentioned Bork, and uh, I guess you know him a little bit, right? Yeah. Um, talk about your summer training, and maybe give us a little uh, Chris Bork story, as you know, some of our listeners might be uh, pretty big fans of him. Yeah, Borky, he's a good, good guy. I've been working out with him for two summers now. And how long has he known your name? One year. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. One year, maybe, maybe less, maybe six, maybe twenty-five percent of that time. <laughs> but yeah, he's a he's a good guy. Uh, obviously, very competitive on the ice when we skate after, but in yeah. the weight room too. Um, his brother works out too, Ricky, Ryan, Bork. Ryan Bork. Both great guys and. They also are big golfers. They like to golf, too, mm-hmm. pretty much every day. Yeah, I knew, I knew Chris was oh. a big golfer. Yeah. Um, but tell us a little about your uh, like your summer training and what you do or, and uh, what helps you get ready for the season. Yeah, uh, pretty standard. Well, when I was in college, I used to go to school for a month and take summer classes and then work out. But it was kind of, I don't know, it was a lot of – I don't even know how to describe it. It's like we work out in the morning at like 6.30 and then go to class in the afternoon and then you're kind of just hanging around. A lot of spare time. Mm -hmm. Um, That's normal though. Yeah. Um, And then when I'm not at school, I'm just working out down the street. We got a bunch of pro guys that are from the same area like Borky and um, some guys in the NHL and we have a good group and skate after and Pretty standard. Yeah. Same as you guys, probably. Uh, it's a little different, to ask. A little bit. Because you no. probably have your skates that are connected with your gym and stuff. Like, they're all... Yeah. 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 That's kind of everywhere. But, yeah, it's a little different, to ask. Yeah. 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 But not as big town. Big town, uh, guys. Yeah. Well? We have... I have one thing I did want to bring up on the show. Because... Hobbsy, you're a big country music guy. Correct, yeah. Are you a big country music guy? I wouldn't say I'm a big country music guy, but I like country music. Are you a big country music guy? I like country music. Okay. Uh, Old Town Road. Uh, yeah. What are your thoughts on that Meh. song? I don't, I don't really like it. It's not a country it. song. Yeah, I don't so like it. So you don't think it's a country song? No. no. Okay. Are you kidding me? So it's not even the one with the Billy Ray Cyrus. No. So so you don't so that qualifies under pop or hip hop for you? It doesn't matter who's singing it. Like 100%. It doesn't matter if Billy Ray's involved. Like, it's not a country song. I don't care if the guy wears a cowboy hat. It's yeah. not a country song. Travis Scott or oh. Eminem could put on a, a cowboy hat and it still wouldn't be a country yeah, song. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I don't really like the song, but yeah. it, I've only heard it a couple times and it usually takes me a, a few to, to like a song, so I, I don't know, but... It's kind of... Maybe get T. Scott in there and it'd be good. Yeah, you get T. Scott... I still wouldn't call it a country song, but... It'd be, no. it'd be better. What? So then here's the other question people are saying. Taylor Swift songs technically count as country songs. 
I would say her old her old her old man old stuff is oh she's high. she was unreal back then now Country. it's I can't stand it now it's pop oh now I it's hate pop. it okay it's, it's so bad now <laughs> that's because that's this is a big debate going on we're we're trying to stay up with the the kids here we got a blank space babe like get out of here give me some you belong with me or some mm-hmm. some Tim McGraw or some some. Yeah, you picture to burn or all, all those like oldies. Oh uh, man, so uh, good. Taylor Swift are, are a lot better, I think. But her old stuff, country, one hundred percent. Her new stuff, uh, pop. So bad. I don't like the new stuff. George Strait's new album, though. Wow. Let's go. Willie Sproly and myself watched the uh, Country Music Awards the other day. The ACM. Is that the American Country Music Awards? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Unreal. Dan and Shay pretty much won everything. Yep, Dan and Shay shout out. They were here in the Giant Center using our gym. Dan and Shay. And Beaky goes to him. Beaky goes to him. <laughs> He's like, "Oh, are you guys roadies?" Yeah. And they're like, "Uh, no, we're Dan and Shay." <laughs> yeah, like we are the guys. We we're are like, the band. We're yeah. we are we're the, the, the band. whole band. We're the Dan band. Dan and Shay, not the race. Do you guys oh, remember, sorry. Do you remember when Beyonce came in during the finals run? You guys were black aces. Uh, we left. We got oh, deported. You left. Anyways. Oh, so when she was here, they put new carpet in the visitors' room, all white, everything, and it was like, what? It, Beyonce demands this much that you have to put white carpet down that she only walks on white. Carpet. That's outrageous. Oh, she is Beyonce. Though. That was still. She's the queen. Oh. Queen B. Yeah, we can't attack Beyonce too much, or we're gonna have our fans. Oh, she's. I'm not attacking Beyonce at all. She she can get whatever she wants. She's yeah, Lo- Love on Top, one of the legend. best songs ever made, probably. Biggest. Have you ever heard that song, Love on Top? She's already. Yeah, I mean, yeah. behind. So Paul. good, so she's good. Got Halo. So oh my god. She's a she's just an icon. So talented. Will be above her. So talented. But yeah, does she need to have a own. special carpet put down for her to walk on? Probably not. I'd put down diamonds. If she asked me. Oh to. my that god. Would hurt, okay. But all right. Yep. Okay, we got... She can ask before whatever she Before we forget, um, I saw a couple of uh, questions that fans were asking us on the Instagram um, that I think we should should jump into. Would you rather travel back in time or to the future? This is from uh, ice underscore is underscore slippery, which that's... Makes sense. It does make sense. But that's his question. Would you rather travel to the past or to the future? Go. Past, and then I would invent Google. Nice. Or nice. Amazon. It's like hot tub time machine when uh, what's his name? He I won't decides go to the to future. Stay. No. Well, if you go to the future, then you can see what those things are and invent them now instead of trying to go back and change it and take credit for it. But if you go to the future, then They're they've been invented. invented. Somebody did it, so mm-hmm. I don't get the money. You and do it before they invented it. The future oh, was released in 1999, and and I'm in the future, and it's 2000. Oh, so I know that Google is going to be invented. Then you come back to whatever year it was. Let's say it was like 96. Okay, I'm going to invent Google now. In 96, before they invented. No, I, you got to choose now. one or the no, other. You, can't. you can go back or forward. You can't do. But you'd have to come back to your time then. So okay, so we're in 2019 now. Right now. And then let's say 20 years from now, the most amazing thing that's making billions of dollars was invented in 2020. Well, if oh, I went well to the future, then I would go in the future if I'm coming back. But if I'm going back and staying back, yeah, 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 yeah. going yeah. forward and staying let's, forward, let's I'd clear, go back. You let's can only go one way. So you're either going, going back and you're staying back or you're going forward? Like you're going back, you're staying there, and you're obviously going to live to where we are now. But okay, if you yeah, go, go forward, back. then you just you forward and you're 24 years old, but it's 2060. You're the same age. Yeah. Oh, man. I, I don't want to go in the future. The future's scary right now, all right? The future's yeah. scary. Okay. I want to go back. That makes it exciting, though. Take I want to see what happens. I want to go to a Motley Crue concert. I want to go go to a Queen yeah. concert. Yeah. You know? I want to see Queen live. Take me to Live Aid, you know? Yes. Let's go. Okay. Let's go to the past, right. boys. We all you go to the past. Me. We hire someone. Makes Google. Makes Make, Amazon. Yeah. Makes fake. We're rich. And it's, we do whatever we want. It's just like Hot Tub Time Machine, man. When that guy stays Be back, check, boys. he calls it Lugal instead of Google. <laughs> and he sings all those songs. Maybe we bring yeah. back our like sick twigs that we have now, and then we oh, play man. back when they have wooden twigs. We bring our equipment nasty. with us. Yeah. 
fresh Bowerski. So are we locking it in? Out, everyone else doesn't. Are we yeah, locking no it in? Smokes. Everyone's smoking darts and drinking, and <laughs> we're drinking, working. They're out. drinking. Yeah, they're like, what are you drinking? Protein? Like yeah. we're, instead of protein, they're getting Coca Cola, you know, products after the yeah, game. Yeah. And we're maybe we bring back wags with us. <laughs> <laughs> That would be so far out of the game. We bring our heart rate monitors with us. Oh, yeah. Wear those. Okay, so we're locking it in. We're going to the past. All right, here's his other question that we got to answer. Favorite restaurants in town? Hmm. Restaurants or restaurant? There is an S on the end. This is plural. Favorite restaurants. Okay, you, everyone say their favorite. On the, At the same time? <laughs> Wait, let me think. Uh, Oh, I know mine now. You know yours? New one. Yep. Willie? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got mine. You got yours? Yeah. On three. One, two, three. Finichis. Okay. Okay, go ahead. I said Finichis. Oh, yeah. Finichis is hype. Yeah. You? Iron Hill. Yeah, we went there the other day. It's good. Iron Hill's food. They had the windows open. Like, it was so nice out. Windows open. Like Patio. Fresh. Oh, good vibes. Their eh? food is unreal. Uh, food those is Philly cheesesteak um, egg rolls are friggin' yeah. I know. yum. The what rich. did I even say? What was my restaurant? First Watch. You like that? I, I yeah. like the food there. It's, it's a, if I'm going to nitpick. Yeah, let's nitpick a little bit. Uh, the service is a little slow. A little slow. It's sluggish. But I, uh, we don't want to badmouth anybody. But I'm not trying to badmouth. I, I think maybe it, I agree with you. Food's but really good. Yeah, really food good is, food. Food is unreal. Yeah. But it just opened, so maybe yeah. maybe that's a work in progress. I don't know. Yeah. It, the demand is high right now. It's just, we were in there for like two hours the one day, and it's just, I didn't want to be in there for two hours. Yeah, no. I agree. Yeah. Oh, and our favorite breakfast spot. Oh, the three of us. Obviously. Soda Jerk. Soda Jerk. Shout out yeah. Soda Jerk. We love you. You're in and out in 25 minutes max. And it's incredible. Unless you're chopping. Unless, Unless you're, you're chopping, chopping it up on a Monday morning. Having a cup of joe. Yeah. Laughing and joking. Or at Burger King. I don't What's know. your favorite thing to get at Soda Jerk? Oh, what are you eating? I'm getting the uh, vegetarian omelet and adding bacon and ham. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I know okay. It's, it's a little counterproductive, but the vegetarian has so many veggies in it. I'm a big veggie guy, but then I got to add the bacon and ham in there. Okay. <laughs> or or what, what does Peroli call it? The... The ham? Oh, um, um... It was a weird word for ham. Oh, super weird word we'd never heard before. Parlay. Parlay. Anyways. Parlay? No, no. It, it was this, like, weird... I can't even think and of he, it. And he was so stunned that we didn't know what it was. He was really angry at us that we had never heard it. It's apparent, I think it's an Eastern Canadian thing. How would we know? We're, we're Westerners. Yeah. yeah we don't I call do, it bacon. We just, we just know bacon. I eat bacon. Ham. Ham, wheat, beef, barley, <laughs> <laughs> canola. <laughs> what do you get at soda? I'm getting the Florentine eggs, Benedict spinach, feta cheese, hollandaise sauce, egg, ham, boom, let's go. Every time. Every time. Every single time. I'm getting a make your own omelet. American cheese, tomato, pepper, onion, sausage. Wow. Coffee. Delicious. And we always have a couple cups of coffee. Yeah. Five chop it up. And they're so bit. nice five to us coffees? there. Like they're so oh, nice. I just suck back five cups for sure. <laughs> Sproli got a shake one time. It looked unreal. Is that a strawberry one you got? Yeah. yeah, it did look good. But we like to chop it up in the morning. Oh, yeah. yeah. We'll spend we'll spend twenty minutes get ordering our food and eating it, and then we'll spend an hour sitting there chopping it. Yeah. My favorite thing about road trips is going out to dinner with them and chop it for like two hours at dinner night before it's good it's important you know it's unreal it's important it's all about chopping for those of you who don't know what chopping it is it's just just chit chatting chit chat chit chatting talking telling stories making each other laugh yeah maybe a couple laughs maybe uh, a couple pokes jabs couple jabs yeah maybe give it to a guy just you know and then Maybe someone's feeling a little sensitive today and you just give it to him a little extra because he's being sensitive. I was sensitive yesterday. Pin saw his chance, took it, yeah. <laughs> roasted me. Then he roasted me back, so we're square. So we're square. We high five, picked a sweet team in the master's pool, and off we go. There you go. That's, yeah. uh, that's sports for you. We're yeah. also recording on a historic day. The first known photo of a black hole was released by NASA. That what? Uh, that was today. 
Uh, it was they had they had a press conference in six different cities because I guess it was a big deal. Uh, that is a big. A, that is big. It's a black hole. Yes. No, um, worry about it. So this is what the image is. Uh, I think if you just search black hole, you'll probably be able to find this. It doesn't look like a black. Hole. That looks like that, a car cigarette lighter. So that's what what that's supposed to be. I guess is the because light can't escape a black hole. This is the light from the other side shining. Through, I, get, I don't know. I didn't get to read too deep into it, but that's that was the first look ever at a black hole. See, the future's scary, boys. We don't know nothing about that thing. That thing could be coming for us. We don't know. Let's go back in time. Okay, well, it's about 53.5 million light years away. That, so. I, that's gibberish to me. I don't know. That could be close. I don't know. It could be moving at 50, 51 light years. Exactly. Speed. We don't know. That's How do we know? We don't know. How nothing. does NASA know? <laughs> NASA doesn't know NASA? much. <laughs> We've been watching Trailer Park they Boys again. The, all three of us are watching Trailer Park Boys right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. That's what he calls it, NASA. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It might, it might be just supply and command. Like, yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Worst case, Ontario. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I might watch a couple more games or a couple more episodes of Game of Thrones before Sunday. Yeah, just to fire maybe up the little. Battle of the Bastards episode. Just to fire up a little oh, bit. Hype. Yeah, we should. Hype. All right, well, Brian, thanks for coming on. Yes, we and appreciate thanks, it. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Make sure you follow the show on Instagram at Bears Blue Line. See these guys hit some dingers. Yeah, we'll try to answer more questions from you as as we go on here. Maybe do a Q and A one day on there. People ask yeah. questions. Do do some good well, stuff. There we go. Uh, there go. Brian, where can we find you on social media? Like, what do I? Use? Like, yeah, what, like, like what's, your, what's your Instagram handle? username? What's your Twitter? Oh, uh, I think it's B Pens underscore twenty six. Solid. On Insta? on Insta? On Insta. We'll be tagging you. I don't really use Twitter. Okay. All right. So we'll, we'll, we'll tag you on some stuff. Make sure you go follow him. Make sure you follow the show. And uh, we'll see you here probably right after uh, the first round. Correct. All right. Cool. See you, boys. Later. Good job, man. That was good.